I am revisiting this thing called the TPP, officially Trans-Pacific Partnership, but I've been trying to come up with some other creative names for it, such as Tyranny Pals Partnership. This thing is not dying. We've mailed it to Congress. We've made our opinions known. There are protesters out there who've made it known. And we want to see this agreement, the draft agreement. But apparently it's going to be redacted for four years even after it's passed. So, my comments on this matter are we need to have more information. And I'm going to try and give you some acronyms and their meanings. And they at first kind of set it back a little bit. And it was, I'm saying it's two steps forward, one step back. Our government needs to be hands-on. We need to get involved. You can't just say trade stuff is boring. And, and maybe it is, but it will eventually bite you. So here are some of the acronyms, and I'll try and explain them to you in brief layman's terms. TPP. Officially, Trans-Pacific Partnership. TPP makes multinationals more powerful than governments. TPA, which they just passed in the House, gives the President the right to surrender to the TPP. TPA is Congress abdicating and outsourcing themselves. There's a TAA, which was supposed to retrain us all um, because we were losing our jobs to slaves or becoming slaves. I don't know. There's another thing called TISA, which unites all the world's finance and it's the muscle of enforcement. It also states that you cannot nationalize or municipalize anything. It has to all be privatized for profit. Enforcement is also from the TISA. Enforcement meaning stopping the economies of non-compliant nations or cities or states or whatever. As people say, well, this stuff doesn't really affect us. Well, one thing did recently. Congress took off the country of origin labels for certain meats. So you can't tell where the beef or chicken or pork comes from anymore. Maybe even the store can't tell. It's all good, isn't it? And that was because, not because Congress believes you don't need to know that information, maybe they do, but mostly because of World Trade Organization lawsuits. Their threat was financially significant enough that Congress had to pass a law. So you know when things like TPP or the European version, TTIP, get passed, your Bill of Rights may be repealed because it's an impediment. So you might want to get involved a little more and let your Congress people know. These laws are top secret. The TISA even is supposed to remain secret for five years after it's passed sight unseen. But yet somebody must know what it is because it has to be enforced somehow. Somebody once mentioned that under UK law, treason is defined as the undermining of parliamentary, <coughs> ergo Congress, democracy by extra parliamentary means. Thus, the transatlantic trade investment partnership, as well as the TPP, if written into the laws, and ratified by national legislatures will constitute a legalization of treason. So we can't really let this stuff get away. I mean, it's getting away right now because they're bound and determined to abdicate. They're bound and determined to sell us out. But I just thought, I had an afterthought about this. And like my congressman, Mr. Sensenbrenner, voted for the TPA and so my response to that is, as a constituent, I want you to know that I will not forget your disappointing vote on fast track for the disastrous TPP.
I am watching this all the more closely. When and if a vote for the TPP or TTIP or TISA, etc., comes along, you basically outsourced your responsibility to the president. Now, I'm going to be calling him the anti-president, because that's pretty much what I consider this. Have you read the draft agreement yet? Once these agreements pass, the multinationals will no longer need you, and the campaign money gravy trains will fade away. TISA will use its bail-in power to ransack our pensions, our 401ks, our Social Security, our savings, and yours too. Hopefully, you'll vote no once you read and understand the full consequences of these bad laws. So that was like my reply to the passing of this fast-track authority by the House. It still has to pass through the Senate as of this time. So that's where it stands for now. Hopefully you'll get involved and not let this just go unchecked, or you will find yourself in a new Dark Ages. Well, until later, we'll be seeing you.